Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show demo about implementing localization in .NET Mavi. So here I just created new project. Let me add here one folder in resources folder. Okay, now in this folder, I am just going to add one resource file. Okay, now here in this file, you can just provide data in a key value format. So here in name, I'm just going to add title one and here some greeting message. Now let me access this file here on main page. So for that here, I'm just going to add namespace of stream folder. Okay, now from this folder, I'm just going to access this resource file and from there, that title i'm just going to display here title value okay now when i run the application it's just going to display whatever the value available here okay it's displaying here now let's say you want to support multiple languages for one app so for that you need to add multiple resource file so let me add another resource file here. I'm just going to add one resource file for Hindi language. Okay, here after file name, you need to just provide a country language code. So let me add here Hindi language code. Okay, now I'm just going to add here key as a title one and here in a value, I'm just going to add some greeting message in Hindi language. Okay, now if I run this application, then it is going to display greeting here in English language format because by default, it's just accessing this resources file. Now to display in this Hindi language, here in uh, app.jml.cs, I'm just going to set culture info. Okay, so here in a culture info, I'm just going to provide language code. Okay, now let me run the application. Now it's just going to display text from this Hindi language resource file. Okay, so here it display. Now let me add another resource file also for another language. So here in a string folder, I'm just going to add new resource file. And some country code here. So I'm just going to add Russia language. Okay. Now here, I'm just going to change this country language code to Russian language. Now, if I run the application, then it's just going to display greeting message in Russian language, okay? Now, let's add code related to switching language dynamically. So for that, let me add here one extension folder. In that, I'm just going to add one class that's just going to inherit markup extension interface okay so here in a key i'm just going to pass like what is the key available here in a resources file that key I'm just going to pass here in a translate extension. 
and here I will just add some binding information. So before that, let me add here another class that just going to translate the language. Now let me create here instance of this class. So using this instance, I'm just going to set culture information. Okay, so using this translator dot instant dot culture info, I'm just uh, going to assign the culture info value dynamically. Now let me add here indexer. So based on culture info and the key that I'm just going to pass from here, it's just going to return the text. So here I'm just going to pass the now, based on key, I'm just uh, going to return tax. So from the app resources, I'm just going to patch value based on key and the culture info that set here. Okay, now let's add binding information here in translate extension. So I'm just going to create binding and here I'm just going to pass translator dot instance as a source and here in a part in an array format I'm just going to pass the key. Okay so whatever the key I define in UI that key this binding object going to contain. Now this binding information, I'm just going to return from here. Okay, now let's use this translate extension here on main page. So here I'm just going to add namespace of extension folder. Okay, now here instead of this code, I'm just going to use now extension colon translate and here key, I'm just going to pass title one. Okay. Now let me set translation information like a translation language here on app.gml.cs. So now here I can use translator dot instance the culture info is equal to what is the culture info I want to set. Okay now let me run the application. So see like uh, this title one is binding using this translator or not. Okay, so it's displaying in a Hindi language. Now let me add here multiple radio button and based on selection, I'm just going to uh, switch the language dynamically. Okay, so here in vertical stake layout, I'm just going to add radio button. Okay, so here, like whenever I change any country, so that language, it's going to reflect here. 
So now let me add check change event for all the radio button. So here, now I'm just going to create check change event for all radio button. Okay, now here in code behind, I'm just going to set based on whatever the radio button involved, involve, that translation information I'm just going to use. So here, let me just copy this. So this is going to set for when the India radio button involved, then this culture info I'm going to set. And here, let me just use Russian language culture info. And by default, here I'm just going to pass null. So it's just going to use that default app resource. Okay. Now let me run the application. Okay, so by default it displaying this Hindi language as because here we set this default culture information this. Now if I select any of radio button, it's not changing because here in a translator, I need to inherit I notify property change. And let me add here one matter. So with the culture information, like when I said culture information, that time I'm just going to involve this on property change matter also. Okay, now here I will call translator dot instant dot property change on property change matter. I will call this matter. So it's just going to change the switch the language dynamically. Now let me run the application. Okay, so here on the click of radio button, it just switching the language. Okay, so that's uh, all for today. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching it.